I am Nicola Deschio, I am a researcher in urban studies at the VUB and I am interested into the relationship between the environment and people and society within cities and within Brussels in particular. This means looking into how we have an impact onto the environment, but at the same time also looking into how the environment is a resource or a burden for some and some other within our societies. The Clearing House project is a project involving partners in China and in Europe. In our project we look at the potential of trees and urban vegetation, urban green, to uh, achieve and realize more sustainable and more resilient cities. We can look at trees in as much as they provide a number of services to urban areas in general. And these services are called ecosystem services. Cultural ecosystem services are all the services that nature, but in this case trees, provide to human well-being. Think for instance about the benefit that one can, can have by running into a wood. The presence of trees in this case has a really approved impact on, on the well-being and on the health of people. But then trees and vegetation provide a whole range of other services, ranging from supporting services to biodiversity. The presence of trees and vegetation allows the presence of little birds, for instance, other services like regulatory services. These are the services, for instance, that trees offer to, to mitigate hazards such as floods or such as, uh, as uh, air pollution. We know that in those cases, vegetated areas help reducing the, 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 the flow of, of the floods. Urban land, urban space, in the city in particular, is scarce. While we all agree that a tree is, is beautiful to have a tree in front of a house, to have shade and, and to reduce uh, heat waves in summer, other people might say, no, but I also need a parking in front of my house. And, and the, for instance, here in, in, in the Bois de la Cambre is a very, very, very good example that while in general many people agree that it's nice to have a park, there was also legitimately interest such as a, a quick access to the city centre from the south of the region by, by car. So you have a conflict between different uses, different possibilities. My research takes me to think that, or to think, to be persuaded of the importance of parks and green spaces. At the same time, I see the legitimacy of other priorities, other demand, and at some point it's part of the role of politicians, of decision makers, I think, to reach toward the, the, the common good and balance out these different priorities. In cities it's very difficult to just create a new park. It is important and this is what we at the VUB together with other partners like Brussels Environment for instance are trying to do is to identify possibilities to, to put some, some green here and there in the cities. And one of the things we're doing, for instance, is to develop the concept of the park street or the Rue Park. And this means uh, to design a street, which is at the same time a place for mobility, but also is also a place for leisure, to make it a more pleasant place. 